waiting on her hand and foot. She needs me. You're helping her be helpless. It's not good for either one of you. Why don't you spend the night with me all I night? I can't. Sometimes I think you're more afraid to leave the house than Paula is. That's not true. I'm doing things. My computer class starts tomorrow. You just promised me you're not going to spend the rest of your life looking after Paula Tanner. Well, as soon as I can do anything other than keep house, I will. Well, you have to eat something. Happy? Uh, you heard from Beth? No. Leo's lawyer called again. He wants you to call him. Well, I'm not going to. This divorce business is nothing but nonsense. And this affair will burn itself out like all the others. <sighs> Leo knows how ridiculous he looks. And it's obvious what she's after. His money, his connections. I suppose if I was a little actress just starting out, I'd be after him too. Paula, she's not an actress, she's a banker. Well, I don't care what she is. He's always had these women. It's inevitable, really, given the kind of man he is. But he'll come back, you see. He always has. <laughs> what if he doesn't? Where are you going? You're going out with your new friend. I'm going to my computer class. Why on earth are you bothering with those computers? Look, I'm going to stop by the video store on the way home. Do you want me to pick a movie up for you? I don't like movies. Well done. You type 75 words per minute with 95% accuracy. You will go far. Oh, I love this thing. Yeah, my computer talks nicer to me than my boyfriend does. Where's the Steveston end, you know? Yeah, it's that big place up the coast, about five miles. Oh, it's very old-time cool. Why? Um, I read an ad they're looking for a housekeeper. I thought you had it with housekeeping. Yeah, I know. I know. Thanks. Mr. Tanner's office, may I help you? This is Iris Prue. Who? Mrs. Tanner's housekeeper. Please hold. Hey, Iris, what's up? Leo, I'm worried about Paula. She seems to be slipping into some kind of dangerous state. Iris, I'm sorry, but I'm the last person you should be calling. Well, who else is there? Leo, this isn't my responsibility. Please, if you paid her just the tiniest visit. There's a mental health center in town. Maybe you could get her to go to a therapist there. I know you have your hands full, Iris, so as of now, I am doubling your salary, OK? I don't want you to double my salary. I'm afraid I have to go now. I've got a meeting waiting. Bye, Iris. What did he say? He said it's not his responsibility. Oh, it's not your responsibility. I said that to him. I can understand him wanting to get on with his new life, but how can he just walk away from his old one and, what, his daughter disappears and he never even mentions her again? I don't know what to do here. Why don't we go out in my boat and just forget about all of them? Um, well, actually, I wanted to go check out the Steepston Inn. Oh, I heard they were looking for a new head thingamajig. That wouldn't be why you were going there, would it? All right, it? all right. I, I read an ad in the newspaper. I'm not ready to leave Paula yet. I, 
I thought it would be a just a, a good experience to go on a job interview. Well, I say go for it, girl. I mean, it's about time you got away from that mad woman's clutches. See you later. Bye. Daytime, Paula. Day, not night. Would you leave the damn shades open? The house feels so empty when you're gone. Well, then get out of the house. Go for a walk. Go for a drive. Come outside with me. I can't. You heard from Beth? No, I'm sorry. Where are you going? You just got here. I'm finished with my work for the day. It's cleared up outside. It's beautiful. I'm going for a walk. You're always leaving me. Then come with me. Paula, look, I'm not going to stay shut up in this house with you all day. Oh, all right. Good. I'm just going to go change. I'll meet you out back. I'm just going for a little while. Not for long. Meet you in the back. In a minute. Yeah. Well, come on, let's start walking. Look out at the ocean. I don't like the ocean. I never did. I like the desert. Paula, you need help. You need professional help. You're depressed. Yeah, you know, I am depressed. You know why? I couldn't find my dark glasses. It depresses the hell out of me. You can't just sit there. You've got to get up. You've got to move. Stop telling me what to do. I agreed to a walk, not a lecture. Just leave me alone. Fine. Let's walk. Why didn't you tell me it was cold? I didn't know. Well, you should have told me to bring a jacket or something. It's always someone else's fault, huh? First it's Leo's, then Beth's, now it's mine. Well, it is your fault Beth's gone. I mean, if you've been but watching over like I... you're not doing anything. You're not even looking for her. Maybe she's been kidnapped. She's not been kidnapped. Maybe she's lying hurt somewhere. Well, she's not hurt. She hates me, okay? She doesn't hate you. She needs you. She never needed me. Never. That's not true. The only reason she does all this stuff is because she needs to know that you love her. Oh, you know so much about girls, don't you? So where's your daughter, Iris? When was the last time you even spoke to her? That's mean. Well, that's who I am. Maybe you noticed. It is not. It is. Mean's all I got left, Iris. Oh. Jesus. Oh. All right. So, here. The path, it goes on, up the hill, and down back into town. Which way you want to go? 